everybody, today in Provost Park Pass, we're gonna be revealing even more secrets about Toontown. That's right, we're doing Toontown Part Two. The official seal of Toontown is from the Mickey cartoon, Mickey and the Seal from 1948. I see what they did there. Toontown inspired an online video game called Toontown. It was released in 2003 and closed as it ended in 2013. It was such a fun game. Uh, my character was a duck, since Professor Feathermarble, and you fight evil cogs. They designed lots of the levels right after Toontown. One of the cool things about Toontown is all the gags just lying around. Let's see how strong I am. I can't lift it. Whoa! Who left this safe lying around? That's not safe. Nice thing about Toontown is all kinds of interactive things. Buttons, levers, everything to pull. Like this one. I just broke some glass. Let's see what happens if I push it again. I don't know what that was. Be sure to push every button you can see in Toontown and pull on every little lever. There's always a surprise around every corner. Let's find out what each one of these crates does. Ready? Clarabelle's Yogurt Shop. Assorted Springs. Just says Rush to Gag Factory. Bear Train Parts. Jokes and novelties. Let's see how funny my joke is. So this morning I couldn't figure out my seatbelt, but then it clicked. <laughs> yes? No, no? All right, so here we are at the doors to the electric company here in Toontown. They say you're not supposed to open up these doors at all. It's forbidden unless you really, 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 really want to. I want to. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Shocking! Inside the Five and Dime shop, you can see the Gagomatic. That's right, it's where you can see these little cartoon hands carrying gags around. Let's check it out. Here's the Gagomatic. You get to see all the different types of gags whoopee cushions, pieces of board, because I'm bored. <laughs> Got that. Horns, whoopie pies, cigars, all kinds of things. So you can check it out in the Gagomatic right here in the Five and Dime Star. Star shop. That was Are weird. You a pirate? At the very end of Toontown, you're gonna find Chip and Dale's treehouse. This has some really cool history. Check it out over here. This is the entrance to the old Chip and Dale's Acorn Pit. The Acorn Pit was open from 1993 to 1998 and was closed. Now there's a lot of rumors and myths about this acorn pit. Some people said it was closed because California made a law against all ball pits because they weren't very sanitary. That's not true. They still have ball pits in California. But the reason it was closed is because of those particular reasons. It wasn't very sanitary. Kids would get in here and every time there was like an accident or something like that, they had to shut down the ball pit, clean everything out, and then reopen it up until another accident happened. So they just closed it in 1998. It has not been open since then. It's been 20 years just sitting here vacant like this. I hope someday they do something with it. Let's go inside. Now if you're tall, you gotta be careful because it is not made for tall people. Come on, camera angry. You can do this. Come on. Oh my goodness. I don't know if I can do this. Come on, you're doing great. Come on. And that's pretty much it, right there. You can also see it's nicely adorned with acorns because what do chipmunks want? What do chipmunks love? Acorns. Do you know what my favorite type of nut is? A donut. So here I am in the line for Gadget's Roller Coaster. I made sure I said that name right because in my last video I said it wrong the entire time. I kept calling Go Coasters. This is a perfect roller coaster for little ones, like the first experience of roller coasters. The ride lasts from start to finish 50 seconds. That's right. It takes about 35 seconds to load it. So it's not a very long roller coaster. It's a good introduction roller coaster. It's a lot of fun. Ah. So there are some frogs out there where the roller coaster goes around. The frogs used to spit water over the riders. They don't do that anymore. I don't know why they turned it off, because I kind of like that feature. Yeah, so everyone thinks that it's Goofy's roller coaster. It's actually Gadget's roller coaster. 
it's what, okay. from what? From Rescue Rangers. From Rescue Rangers. But everybody calls it Goofy's Go Coaster. See, I'm not crazy. <laughs> Fun ride and a fast ride. Wow, like fast, as in it's over. Fast. Toontown really represents Disneyland as a whole. It's very consistent with the population of Disneyland. If Disney's crowded, then Toontown will be very crowded. If, to if Disneyland is very lightly crowded, then lightly crowded is that a thing? Disneyland is hardly. What am I trying to say? If it's not as, if Toontown's not. If Disneyland is not crowded, then this will be a ghost town. Also, it gets very crowded in the afternoons, so I'd recommend coming in the mornings or in the evenings. It opens an hour after the park and closes an hour before the fireworks show, so usually around 8.30, so keep that in mind. Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin is super fun. It's kind of a combination of Mr. Toad's Wild Ride and teacups. Now, there is no height restriction, though the children have to be able to sit by themselves on this ride. Here's a challenge for you, all of you people watching. Try to make the car not spin at all. It's so hard, it's a lot harder than you think it is. You can make the car spin really fast by turning the wheel this way or turning the wheel that way, but if you hold it really still, maybe you can go through the whole ride and not make it spin at all. The ride lasts for three minutes. Most young riders don't even know who Roger Rabbit is. He was very popular in the cartoon, Roger Rabbit. What was it called? It's very popular in a movie called Who Frame Roger Rabbit. The line can get quite long to go through, though it's very interactive. Lots of things to say in the line. Here's a little secret though. The line can get hot. I mean hot as in temperature wise. So you want to go in the morning or in the evening when it's not quite so hot because waiting there sometimes it gets a little bit swelterly. Woo! This is the only ride in all of Toontown that has a fast pass. I would highly recommend getting a fast pass for Car Roger Rabbit's cartoon spin. The first thing you can see when you go inside Roger Rabbit's Cartoon Speed is license plates. These license plates all stand for something. Let's see if we can figure some of them out. Fantasy. What? Zippity. Dude. <laughs> oh, that one's easy. Three little pugs. Just kidding, pigs. 101 Dalmatians. Captain Hook. Little Mermaid. This one's for Alice in Wonderland. I mean, the White Rabbit. I'm late. Wonderland. Let's see what else is in this line. Let's go. Those weasels make me so angry I could shoot my guts out. One of the things you can see when you wait in line is this little password. Have to know the password to get in the club. Also, if you have a really sharp eye, uh, uh, you can see the silhouette of Jessica Rabbit. Ba -ba -boom. This is the recipe for the dip. It dissolves cartoons on contact. It's horrible. It's one part acetone, one part benzoate, and one part turpentine. Basically, they're all paint thinners. That's right, you're dissolving the tunes. <laughs> are like numb because I tried so hard not to let that car spin at all. It was so hard to do. Let me know if you can do it down in the comments down below. At Toontown, if you really want to meet Mickey Mouse, this is where you want to come. You can meet all of the Fab Five here in Toontown. Mickey, Minnie, Goofy, Pluto, and Donald. Plus, you can also meet Chip and Dell. Oh, and sometimes Daisy Duck hangs out here too. I kind of like Daisy Duck. Daisy, call me. Uh, just out of curiosity, why do you think Daisy wears bloomers and Donald doesn't wear pants? If you have a really sharp eye, look on the mountains in Toontown behind me. You'll see a W, a D, and an I in the mountain landscape. That stands for Walt Disney Imagineers. They put it there because they're the ones that designed this place. A very interesting fact about Toontown is they don't use real water. The water behind me is all animated and electronic. It's electronic water. 
I'm kidding, it's, it's real water. If you wanna go into Goofy's Playhouse, you don't use the front door, you use the side door because Goofy's goofy like that. This is a great area for parents to bring their kids. They can run around, play, parents can sit down, benches, relax, all kinds of fun things. It's very goofy. If you look at this hose right here, I got a knot in my hose. I'm not kidding. This is the inside of Goofy's Playhouse. It used to be a bounce house, but it's no longer a bounce house. I took that all out so people can come and sit down and just kind of relax and look at some things that Goofy likes. Right inside Goofy's Playhouse is a piano. Silly songs in G. G for Goofy. that Provost Park Pass Concerto number two. Right outside Minnie's house, there's a wishing well. So if you're facing Minnie's house, it's to the right. Come out this wishing well and listen very carefully because you will hear Minnie talk to you. The dream that you wish will come true. If you want to meet Mickey Mouse, you come to Mickey Mouse's house. Guaranteed chance to meet Mickey. So, let's go in and meet Mickey. Right here is Mickey Mouse's club identification card. Mickey was issued, what? The very first card to the Mickey Mouse Club. Of course, why wouldn't it be? It's Mickey Mouse. All kinds of crazy things to look for in Mickey's house. One right here is a suitcase to see all the places Mickey's traveled to. Paris and Japan. What do those places both have in common? Both of them have Disney parks. Maxwell Mouse Coffee. Good to the last tune. And something interesting, I never thought about this, but even apparently Mickey Mouse sometimes needs a plunger. As you exit Mickey's house, you walk into his backyard right before walking into his movie barn. As you enter Mickey's movie barn, you can see all the different props that they use in their cartoons. Let's go meet the big man himself. We're almost ready to meet Mickey. <laughs> You're the best. I have to do the, my favorite. I love it. Mickey, you're the best. We love you so much. Thank you. Okay. You have great taste. And that's how you can meet Mickey Mouse guaranteed at Disneyland. Come to Toontown to Mickey's house. You'll get a chance to meet him in his barn, his movie barn. And he always has on different outfits. That's the first time I've ever seen him in the Steamboat Willie outfit. So I don't know how often they change that. That's a really cool thing. I loved it. I was so excited to meet Mickey. Hey you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. For something extra bonus, a little added fun, watch it again and tell me how many different neckties I wear. What? It's a lot. Put it down in the comments down below. And I wanna say you guys are the best subscribers and followers in the world. We have other videos here and here. You can watch those videos as well. And if you want, you can support us on Patreon at patreon.com Provost Park Pass. You can also follow us on Instagram and Twitter at Provost Park Pass. You guys are the very best. Seriously, you are. Provost Park Pass family, see you next week.